Every day, Robert Trevino puts on 30 pounds of gear. Boots to a bulletproof vest, all are meant to keep him safe when he's out patrolling the streets of Rio Grande City. But remove this vital piece of equipment, especially along the banks of the Rio Grande, and Robert says you leave yourself vulnerable to the dangers that could be lurking on the other side. You're exposed to, to, to the danger of, of the sniper on the other side. That's exactly what Robert did on Tuesday after the alleged drug smuggler he was chasing dove into the Rio Grande. I, I saw the desperation in his face. He was basically dying with, with the expression in his face. He was telling me, hey, I'm going to die. Robert says, threat or not, he couldn't let the man he was chasing just moments earlier die right in front of him. So I, I, uh, I couldn't just stand there and, and, and do nothing. Like, like I said, I, I had to do something about it. I, I couldn't just stand there and, and, and let him drown. So piece by piece, Robert began taking off his protection, the gear that could save his life, so he could rescue another. I get them thinking, I mean, I'm doing this, and what if there's somebody on the Mexican side just waiting for us? Luckily for Robert and the two Border Patrol agents who also braved the water to help the alleged drug smuggler, no one was waiting on the other side, and they were all able to get back to land safely. In Rio Grande City, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.